Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Chomming you is speaking in Spanish again, and this time is Argentina in Spanish, yeah, baby. I think it's tango what he's gonna be singing. <laughs> Balada para un loco is an Argentinian composition, and it's, uh, it's I, tango. It's tango, yeah. So if it is that song, we'll see. Chomming you, everyone. What the hell? As a solo. Yeah, I thought it's time we check out some of the solos. I think it's cool. Yeah, it is. Astor eh, Piazzolla and Horacio Ferrer. <laughs> La calle. Cuando de repente detrás de ese árbol se aparece. ¡Stop! What? Even, even freaking talk, spoken word? Because what are you talking about? To become an arreta in Spanish. Can I just say? You, 100% Latino certified. Oh. This guy speaks Spanish, bro. It's so annoying. It's so annoying how these guys are so good at this. Like, <laughs> I, it never fails to amaze me. Life is I too have easy to for never me. understand this. <laughs> Okay. That is so good. Why is he good at this? Dude, I got goosebumps all over. Slang. <laughs> <laughs> He's even me with the Argentina next. Well, he has to. Can I just say something? Eh, stop! Because in spoken word, you have to dramatize. Uh, you have to dramatize. Oh, obviously, you're like acting through word, right? So, like, the whole idea of storytelling, it's basically down to emphatic speaking, right? So, a lot of this, uh, a lot of nuances can slip through. In, in song, but they kind of have to be, they're, they're exposed when you're doing spoken word, like poetry. Um, and this is exactly what's happening here. So you're seeing two completely different techniques techniques in uh, of voice utilized in two completely different aspects. In the spoken voice, in spoken word, he is so open, he is so theatrical, and it's so very, it's all very, uh, like he's telling a story to a child. It's very animated and it's very full of life. In the song, though, you're hearing nostalgia. You're hearing emotion. You're hearing his diction even clearer. It's it's such it's something so wonderful to see where the natural artist has an inclination towards things. Like how do they find easier modulation? And I think in his case, in Mingyu's case, you you're you're utilizing muscle memory to aid diction through the singing because a lot of these principles are so ingrained in his way of of uh, of singing that regardless of the language that it enhances diction. And the the uh, the way of speaking even allows him to introduce slang like like a way that only the Argentinians speak yeah, yeah. <laughs> through the diction, and it's so magical. It's fantastic! It's magical. <laughs> and he's able to mix it. Loco, 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 como una trova tremente. 
Nice, come on. He's raw, well, come on, he'll be part he of that so theater. Man. He's phenomenal. And it, and it's brilliant as well and, and, and wonderful that the Korean audience also was like open minded enough to like appreciate encourage this, this, encourage yeah. this. Because what a difficult, uh, somewhat of an impossible task um, for someone who doesn't speak Spanish fluently. Even if you were like level one Spanish, level two Spanish, something like that, I don't know, school level, <laughs> secondary school level Spanish, you would struggle so much with mm -hmm. this, man. This is like rough for an Argentinian performer to do it justice to the original. And he doesn't even speak English, Spanish fluently, you know. And he's out here just murdering. It's it's phenomenal because it's not it's not the it's not only the like the performance itself, it's the understanding of the context Correct. and like and the pronunciation. It has to be really damn good because you spoken word. That's like poetry, but you mispronounce a lot of the words. You'd be like, whoa, whoa what has he just said? Yeah, what you're losing, you're losing all everything. And in this, okay, the thing about this song, if you are Korean and you've never really heard this song before, it's it's talking about a madman, right? Yeah. And how he perceives the world and how the world perceives him. Yeah. So the the conundrums are very, like the, the, the conflicts are very distorted from both the narrator and the first person. So they're both very convoluted and confused and there's magic and there's elements of beauty, but at the same time, at the core essence, it's very disturbed. So the understanding of those um, compositions uh, uh, in in the in the singing per se goes beyond just kind of like um just getting the notes accurately it goes beyond that it's more about like yeah the 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 electrifying acting yeah. <laughs> that goes behind it it's interesting to see what they translate it uh, into english into english yeah mm. um it, it, it's the same as like when we check out, you know, Korean songs and we look at the English lyrics. It does lose some of the magic. Mm. Um, but because a lot, because this is very folkloric. This is Argentinian folklore. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't get any more niche than that. This <laughs> song know? is old as balls, isn't it? It is, it yeah. It is like really, really old song. <laughs> Come on. Viva! Viva! Viva los locos que inventaron el amor. That was perfect. Viva! Viva! Viva los locos que inventaron el amor. Y una y soldado y una niña no está en un bailecito bailador. No sale a saludar la gente linda. Y el loco. This is so challenging. Loco mío. ¿Qué sé yo? Por boca campanarios con cerisa y al fin viene Nina. Y canta. Listen to that. That's incredible. Oh, God. Because piantao doesn't really mean crazy, it means like demented. <laughs> Basically. Oh my god, bro, this is probably... This is one of the best performances I've ever, ever yeah. seen. <laughs> this is awesome. Damn. 
Listen to me, yo. Listen to me. As a theater major. <laughs> yeah, Bali did theater, you know, for, for a long time here in London. As a theater major, that is a masterclass, okay? A masterclass in not only acting through song, because that was absolutely phenomenal, but you have to take into consideration, I forgot that he wasn't a Spanish speaker halfway through that. Like, I forgot that this guy is Korean. Like, he, And he, it has nothing to do with the folklore. It has nothing to do with the with the nuances of the language. It just it, it was all down to the performance. The absolute demented element of it all was so brilliant. It was it was incredible. That is so great and so many levels. Also, can we have a moment for the physical exertion of that character yeah. and how flawlessly he maintained that voice the throughout the whole, the whole thing. thing through the speaking quality, through the spoken word, through the singing, that it was incredibly challenging, Fantastic. through the fact that he was also... The acting through song was just... It's outstanding. It, it, it's really... That was wow. a good example of like a world-class performance. And he is... That isn't either his native language or his natural, I guess, genre. They're really weird to like... Em Put in a box yeah. all of the four stellar lads mm. they're really hard to kind of box into one genre perhaps i feel like this is what he enjoys doing the most sort of theatrical like performances they would and be things so like that. good in theater i'm very interested in checking out other of the artists solos because mm -hmm. other members solos because you can kind of get a grasp on what they truly like doing mm. um they're magical as, as as a quartet but it's incredible to yeah. see them as well in their own you know Their, their own skin, I guess, in their own self. 